friends, you'll see here this is a beautiful uh, evening in downtown Toronto, the beautiful CN Tower, some graffiti. Toronto is gorgeous, look at that. <laughs> Today I want to talk about the upcoming elections in June the 7th in a couple days and what's going to happen to the price of uh, Toronto real estate and rent if any of the of the three or four parties uh, gets elected, okay? So, uh, Green's not making it, uh, skip that. Uh, let's talk about the Liberals. So. If the Liberals were to get voted for government, what would it do to the price of Toronto real estate and rents? And they're not going to get in, but anyway, just do the exercise and it goes like this. They gave us the 12 point or the 16 point or the 15 point and uh, minimum wage. And what we saw is crazy increase in the price of everything uh, from food in the supermarket and anything in the store. Prices at some little eateries, mom and pop struggling and crazy crazy jump in uh, rental prices uh, i see like 30 30 percent increase in, in in rental price and maybe 10 to 20 percent increase in cost of your typical 500 square foot condo in toronto in the last few months uh so liberal uh price gonna go up of both real estate and the rents okay uh what happens if the ndp gets in the ndp wants to tighten the rent control right so what does that mean that means that you can raise the rent maybe not maybe not even the guideline of two percent uh maybe all kinds of restrictions on landlords uh pro tenant which is great but we have a problem that we don't have enough units so uh, if we do a rent control i mean i don't know what else you can do what you have now but let's see even more uh, then uh, you know individual investors are not going to buy condos for for uh, uh, for rent because it's not be worth it. They're just going to look for other investment opportunities, and large corporations, insurance companies, REITs. You know those who build the um, apartment buildings, and and there's not a lot in Toronto. There's lots from the 70s, 80s, but almost none uh, after that. Uh, they're not going to build them, so we're not going to have rental units, and the price again is going to shoot through the roof. Uh, whenever tenant leaves, you know then the price will be adjusted, and it's going to be crazy. Um, and the price of the, the real estate itself will go up too uh, because of a shortage of units and because the investors are not buying uh, so there's less people buying and uh, it's a problem okay so what's so that that's uh, NDP no, so the price of rent will go up and the price of real estate will be up I believe if NDP gets in okay so what happens if uh, if uh, what do we got left the, the blue guys the PC, they get in. Um, okay, so if they get in, they said that they want to uh, uh, screw the green belt and start building their terrible idea. Don't do it. Uh, we need the trees. We need the air. We love the green belt. And it's not really going to make a difference if you're going to build more suburbs. It's just that's not the solution. Okay, the solution is to build uh, density and to build up and to build designed cities, designed communities um, that are designed really, really well for living of people. And, and supply them with, and, and increase the supply a lot. So if they, so that's not going to work PC because you're just creating more suburbs and more traffic jams and more pollution. It's just inefficient. It's just this bad idea and terrible. Okay, and they want to scrap uh, the rent control. Okay, so before we said that if we keep the rent control, it's going to make the price of real estate and the rents, the rents go up and the price of real estate go up because less investors get in. So if I have no rent control, the first thing's going to happen is the price is going to go up again. Why? <laughs> because there's not enough units. Okay, and and maybe maybe investors, maybe if they 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 ditch that stupid that land transfer tax, that's just lame. We're paying enough taxes. There's just no need for that. Okay, just become more efficient, uh, dear government, and and cut cut the land transfer tax. There's no need for it. That is the best tax to cut. Why? because it is not a part of the price so if i were given all kinds of bursaries you know money back whatever it is it, it doesn't it, it's not in the price if i take it out of the price the price will just inflate itself again uh, but if i but if i reduce the tax that's a real it's not in the price it's on top that's a good option but i don't know if they're going to do it um but in any case whoever is going to win so, so uh, just to summarize the blue guys um not going to work uh, with no proper planning, just to say, you know, I'm going to open these farmlands to build. That's what are you going to do? Like an, another bunch of houses? Well, we need, you know, a million beds in in Ontario. We need at least half a million units in Ontario, if not a million. 
and most of them two and three bedrooms because for the families, for all the young people that are, you know, are here and coming. Um, so uh, the blue ones also, the rent's going to go up because no rent control and the price of units will go up because there's just not enough supply. So they all fail, okay? They all fail. None of these parties, uh, in my opinion, uh, will is offered anything that makes sense actually um, that will help uh, and give relief on rents because they're insane and on prices of uh, condos, homes, apartments because they are crazy. Okay, so the only way, if I were a king of Canada, uh, what I would do is I would start to design, plan communities, plan cities, high density with lots of parks, lots of green space, um, you know, Jane Jacobs style. The school is right there, the supermarket is there, there, everything you need in that village. But these are modern village, high-tech villages. Um, they kind of supply their own thing, you know, and, and, and you get everything you need right there. Uh, Toronto does not have enough green space, not, not enough at all, very little. Look at Bellwood, so busy. So it's, it's got to be done better. It's got to be by design. You know, this, this, this town's been around for 200 years. Uh, it, it was the village of York, the muddy, muddy York. And now it's like a global Molotopolan city uh, with so many people. But, you know, we don't have the infrastructure. Everything's broken, not enough green. So got to upgrade that and got to upgrade everything else. Okay, so uh, whichever you vote for, have a great time. Enjoy your democratic rights. I wish everyone luck. And remember, we need to build more, not in the green belt. We need to do planned communities and design cities. All right. Take care.